What is up guys and welcome back to another re-challenge video with me, The Real Deal. So we are going to be uh, taking on the Iron Twins. Um, to be fair, it's been an absolute breeze so far. Um, so I'll do sort of, I'll try and do three different teams. Um, so first team I've got here, uh, we've got Helia, just basically for that resistance aura. I'll talk you through the team as we do the fight. And then um, I'll try and show some other ones as well quickly. So let's go. Yeah, and of course, at the end of the video, I'll do the gears and masteries. Um, so ultimate death knight in there, basically to absorb damage and to keep the team alive. Um, Husk just doing uh, big boy damage. Um, to be fair, he's not. Um, I think he's quite replaceable, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he's just a good champion. Um, you know, lots of HP, lots of five ability, lots of damage. Um, all round, great guy. <laughs> great guy. Yeah, take him down to the pub. Um, then we've got Helior, um, so basically just literally in there for that resistance aura. Um, you can bring in any champion that's got a higher resistance aura just to uh, stop us from getting those stacks. Um, Rector Draft, um, obviously great healer, bit of reviving as well. Um, and then we've got CCR Flame Tongue, so um, yeah, great damage dealer. And you know, hopefully, she's gonna be laying down the smack down um, and just like trying to kill this guy as quick as possible. So it should be pretty. Cricky, plick. should be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Uh, we're only level six at the moment. It's gonna be another two week and a half um, before we can sort of get round to. Uh, I think it's stage fifteen is the max. So we'll get to stage fifteen and then we can start taking that out. But um, so far it's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Um, one thing I'd say is a really simple strategy for this is just bringing in a reviver with um lots of resistance so basically they won't take any of these um stacks uh can we just have a quick look where's the info oh there um yeah so what the iron brand stacks so basically they won't take any of that and um what happens as well is when your champions die those stacks um sort of just deplete god look at me with my fancy words um but yeah um those stacks just go and then when you revive them, they come back uh, fresh with no stacks on them and they can just start going again. So yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward fight. Um, not too difficult. Um, pretty cool looking animation though. Really, I do like the way this boss looks. Um, but I think mechanically, it's not really bringing anything new to the game. It's just like another thing to do to make your champions more powerful. Um, as I said, like in previous videos, I've really... I'm looking forward to the blessings. Originally, I wasn't, um, but I've changed my tune and I've got like a really positive um, opinion on it. I think it's actually been great for the game and make things a lot more interesting and more fun. Um, I know they want to do things where they want HP burn champions to sort of have a place in arena. I don't see that ever happening because they need to land their HP burns. And to do that, you need to have loads of accuracy. So it's not really plausible. And I'm just going to stop this because um, obviously I've only got one key left. So, yep, that was an easy win. Let's uh, quickly build another team out. And look, I'm burning energy for you guys, just for you guys. Okay, so um, let's see, let's see. I mean, ideally, I should be bringing in um, f um, force champions, but I might actually bring in some spirit champions as well. So I absolutely love Nekmo, great champion. Um, this guy is not built out yet, so I can't use him. Um, not gonna bring in Valkyrie. Valkyries just make everything slower. Actually, I don't actually have like any legendary spirit champions built out yet. Um, just not a massive fan. I will bring in Astrolith though, because I love Astrolith. And if she can do something for us here, I will be very pleased. And we'll bring in uh, Geomancer, bring in Doom Priest, Geomancer. I just want to bring in another, um, I'm going to bring in Godseeker because I just like to have a reviver just in case things start going wrong. Uh, you know, we can get that revive and just keep keep things going. So one thing I don't like about Astrolith is for some reason she always does her HP exchange first and it makes no sense because, yeah, so she's just dropped a bomb. She should always do bombs first. Because she's always going for, uh, first. And if she's not had any damage done to her, that exchange HP is not worth doing, especially in arena. 
Um, so that is one thing that I do find a bit frustrating about her. Um, but other than that, I think she's a great champion, really underrated. I use her all the time in arena. Um, she's great at taking out resistant, resistant tanky teams. Um, so like come up against a touch us, 900 resistance. <laughs> it doesn't matter because my Astrolith is coming in. She's putting bombs on you that can't be resisted and she's going to drop you no matter what. So yeah, so she's a great champion, really underrated. Um, this is actually a lot faster than the team I was using before. Probably Geo, Geomancer doing a lot of the work there. Um, you know, he's a great champion. Um, and he is like, you know, he is just one of the best. He is such a great damage dealer, especially when it comes to bosses. Uh, Nekmo, of course. Um, slow is really important on this boss. Actually, I should bring in, I'm going to do another team, bring in Stagnite um, next. And then what we'll do is we'll just do team one, two, and three. Um, so you guys can see all the gears and masteries and stuff. And yeah, Doom Priest, probably not so great for this boss, to be honest, but just a great healer. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. So we've almost got the, the W there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say, so that was actually faster than the other team. So yeah, let's just quit that one. So I'm sweating. It's still so hot in the UK at the moment. Okay, let's burn some gems as well. Um, so, yeah, Stagnite is a great champion for this. Where is he? So, Stagnite. Um, I want to try and bring in um, some rares if I've got any available. Let's bring in a Cold Heart. Who else is there? So I can't use my War Maiden. Uh, if I put, if you see that little X on them, I always say if I, I've stripped the champion naked and there's no point in using it. Let's just bring in Kale for, no, no, let's not be silly. No, okay. Um, who else, who else? Oh, let's bring in Man Bear Pig. I love this guy. What's his name? Steel Skull. Great, great champion. I used to use him all the time back in the day. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I do just want to bring in a Reviver because I do like to have one in there. Um, all right, let's bring in this Hippo. Oh, and she's got Resistance as well. Great. Great option there. And then I just want to bring in like one solid nuke. And do you know, I'm going to bring in Ninja just because he's the wrong affinity. He shouldn't be used in this one, but we all know that he is the boss killer. His HP burns are always popping off. And yeah, so let's see what he can do for us. I'm sure this is going to be a walk in the park for him, but let's see what go. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's going pretty quick so far. Um, Cold Heart doing some pretty solid damage right there. Calm Man Bear Pig putting some work. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, still, uh, still Skull. I used to use loads back in the day for Clan Boss, like in an old school team. Uh, talking about probably like two years ago. Um, he's definitely fallen off the radar. Um. He's not like an amazing champion. Fortunately, you can see like um, Ninja is taking a lot of damage. So being the wrong affinity is really not helping him. Um, Cold Heart as well is actually struggling quite a bit as well. Um, so I guess if you did want to bring a Cold Heart for this, you'd have to build them like in a very different way. Lots of HP. Um, and yeah, and then just like the standard sort of crit damage and crit rate and speed and all that stuff. But mostly just stacking HP on her so that she can survive. Uh, Stagnite is obviously amazing here and obviously putting that slow on him um, really does slow things down and you know, I'm going to let this one play out just because uh, I don't want to waste any me, any me, any more energy than I have already um, and yeah hopefully Ninja will come in and finish it off and then we'll we'll have a look at the teams so yeah team number three um, Ninja definitely wouldn't be using him for this affinity and Cold Heart like I said definitely needs some gear reworking the rest of the team seems pretty solid okay so we've got three teams to go through so i'm going to try and go through this as quick as possible first up rex draft from team one uh triple immortal and i think we've just gone hp gloves hp chest speed boots oh my god i haven't even finished a necklace yet uh ring defense necklace and resistance banner have a quick look at the total stats 
70k HP, 2.7 defense, 225 speed, and 271 resistance and a bit of accuracy. Um, masteries, um, support sieve, sorry, support and um, offensive tree. And I actually haven't even finished taking War Masters yet. So actually, still a bit of work there to be done, but we'll hop onto that later. Um, husk, I think it doesn't really matter which one it is. They're both pretty much built the same. Um, these are sort of the stats that you really want to be going for. Um, bit, lots of HP, speed, crit rate, crit damage, and that's it. That's, that's the only important things, really. Um, but we'll have a quick look. So gloves will be crit damage, HP chest, speed boots, um, HP banner, crit damage, necklace, and HP ring, masteries. Um, haven't finished those either on this one. There's a bit of a theme running here. Uh, offensive and defensive tree. Um, we'll have a quick look. So both husks, pretty much just it's all about the stats. It doesn't matter what gear set you use as long as you can get there. And same sort of masteries. And oh my god, I haven't finished this one either. I need to crack on with that as well. Um, husk, uh, ultimate death knight, helior. Okay. So it should be quite easy because they're all um, red ones. So um, I actually used this one. So this one's actually built for um, Hydra. This one would have been better for um, the Iron Twins, but we'll have a quick look at both. So this one's in Perception. Um, basically, we've gone for lots of HP, um, defense, speed, and then accuracy. Um, glove, we've got HP, um, HP chest, speed boots, uh, defense on the banner, and then HP on all the other accessories. Uh, masteries again, just support and then offense. Very, very standard. I actually haven't finished building this one out yet, so I should, should crack on with that as well. Uh, so this one's built slightly different. This one's built for Spider, but um, definitely probably would be a better option on the lower stages of Iron Twins. But uh, crit damage glove, um, HP chest and speed boots. Uh, defense ring, defense necklace and accuracy banner. And yet yeah, mastery is not finished yet. Um, so we've done CCR. Um, so now we need to do Helior. So resistance, 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 and speed. Um, crit rate on the gloves. Uh, uh, resistance chest. Uh, defensive boots. Yeah, resistance banner. Defensive necklace and HP ring. So 46k HP. Uh, 3.8 defense. Um, quite slow. He's in a second go team. 100% crit rate, bit of crit damage, and then 586 resistance. Uh, masteries, we've just gone loads of um, on the defense tree, and then a little bit on the offense, and all the way down to unshakable. Uh, Ultimate Death Knight, I've not finished building him out yet, so I've still got to do his masteries. Um, I was just having a good old think about what I wanted to do there. Um, so total stats, we've got 60k HP. 3.2 uh, defense, almost 200 speed, and 522 resistance. And I want to point out, he's not got his masteries, and I've not glyphed him up yet either. So that's still to come. Uh, HP gloves, uh, resistance chest, uh, speed boots, resistance banner, um, HP uh, amulet, and then a defensive ring. So that is team number one. Team number two, we had Necmo. So Necmo, we've gone double perception and speed. We have got HP gloves, accuracy banner, uh, chest, uh, speed boots, uh, HP banner, um, defensive uh, necklace, and a defensive ring. So um, 53 HP, 2.8 defense, 270 speed, and then 380 accuracy. Um, and then very typical... Uh, masteries for this dude um, so supportive and offensive tree once again and I do use this guy for Hydra and he is amazing for that um, next we've got Astrolith who once again is one of my favorite champions I absolutely love her and she is so so underrated um, so we've got tr uh, two offensive uh, two sets of crawl and uh, speed then we've got um, attack gloves which is the only time you'll be using this and attack chest on these sorts of champions, it'd be great if she had attack boots as well. Unfortunately, we need her to be nice and fast for the Rhino boss, uh, for Bommel even. Attack ring, attack amulet, which you won't have many of these. 
and attack banner. Total stats, 41k HP, 6.4 attack, 271 speed, and yeah, none of the other stats really matter now. So we've done Astrolift, done Necmo, Geo, Doom Priest, and Godseeker. So absolutely love Godseeker, an amazing champion. And we've gone Regen and Mortal. Um, I use her for Bommel. Um, so 80k HP, 2.7 uh, defense. Quite slow though, to be honest. Uh, but great healing and stuff. So it doesn't really matter. Um, sorry, and gloves we've gone. I think we've just gone HP, HP, HP. Um, more HP, defense on the amulet, and then HP ring. Uh, masteries, just very, very standard. Counter-attack and offensive. Um, so we got Geo and Doom, uh, yeah, Doom Priest. Okay, so Doom Priest, we've got Relentless and Speed. Um, HP Gloves, HP Chest, Speed Boots. Um, HP uh, Banner, Defensive Ring, uh, sorry, Amulet and HP uh, Ring. Total stats, 75k HP, 2.5 um, Defense, 221 Speed. And that's the only things that really matter on her, to be honest. And then once again, very, very standard masteries on her as well. And then Geomancer, we've got Lifesteal and Perception. I do want to swap out this Lifesteal for a Reflection set. No, not Reflection. Um, reflex set so that we basically go for our masteries a lot faster. I'm sorry, for our skills so we can do more damage and get more HP burns out there. But um, HP Gloves, Defense Chest and HP boots as well. Um, attack ring, um, HP um, amulet, and then accuracy banner. Total stats, 55k HP, 2.6 defense, uh, 2.9 attack, 202 speed, um, and then 337 accuracy. I could think about it now on reflection, it'd be great if I did throw some more crit rate in there, so you did do some more damage. Um, and then masteries, once again, very, very standard stuff for clan boss and hydra. Just um, supportive tree and then offensive. And yeah, so that is the supportive tree. Uh, so that's team number two done. So team number three. So we've got Stagnite. So in um, Shield Set and Perception, he doesn't have a ring because of Dark Fae. Um, but otherwise, he's a great, like, properly kitted out um, HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots. Um, accuracy banner and HP uh, amulet, 61k HP, um, 237 speed, and then 353 accuracy. And once again, these are like your bulk standard uh, masteries for Mr. Stagnite. Uh, Stagnite, Steel Skull, uh, Speed and Immortal set. We've got HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots. Uh, accuracy on the banner, uh, defense on the amulet, and defense on the ring. Uh, masteries, very standard again, with uh, basically just some counter attack and just, just standard all the way down to uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> drawing blanks, what is it? That, why does it not say? Oh my god, that's so annoying. War Master, War Master, okay. Um, and then, yeah, Cold Heart, Ninja, and the Hippo. So where is the hippo? So yeah, hippo, no masteries. When you can, save your masteries. Um, so total stats, 65k HP, 232 speed. And yeah, not really too concerned about the other stats. Uh, HP gloves, HP chest, and speed boots. And accuracy banner? Nope, HP on the banner. Um, so we need to do done stag, we've done steel skull, we've done the hippo, ninja, and cold heart. So I'm pretty sure we used my um speed cold heart, who's actually built for the scarab king. Um, so perception is a stress set 41k HP, um, almost no defense. So for this, I'd say probably worth investing in some defense if you can. 235 speed, so nice and fast. 231 um, crit damage, and then 338 accuracy. Um, but, you know, if you can, definitely worth um, bumping up that crit rate to at least 70%. 
Um, and so we've got Accuracy Banner, Crit Damage on the Amulet, HP Ring, Speed Boots, um, HP Chest, and Crit Damage Gloves. And it's just very standard masteries. You can always go yeah, Helm Smasher, or you can go Flawless Execution on um, Cold Heart. Either of those are great. And last but not least, good old Mr. Ninja, right at the top. Where are you? There he is. So Relentless and Broken Set. Total stats, 32k HP, 206 speed, 100% um, crit rate, 229 crit damage, 216 accuracy. Might need more. I'm not sure, actually. I do need to look at how much accuracy um, the Iron Twins have at level 15. Might need 50, 150 accuracy, you may need 200, you may need 300. So something to look at in the future. And mastery is just very standard um, stuff for uh, clan boss. So this would be great on any sort of PVE content. And so I don't think I looked at his, um, so amazing gloves, um, crit damage gloves, um, attack percentage chest and speed boots, um, accuracy banner. So actually I could upgrade his banner, so I'll need to have a look, see if I've got a better one. Crit damage on the amulet, and then two, uh, sorry, attack on the ring. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys with the Iron Twins. Um, and yeah, I'll try and do a video every day for each different affinity that's coming out. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. Please share with your friends. Spread the love. Thank you once again for watching. Take care, guys. Peace.